August is hot, and so are the savings at Appalachian Wireless, where all smartphones are 50% off. Even the 64, 128, and 256 gig models. Two-year agreement required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. The city of Pikeville is still waiting for the first tenant at the Kentucky Enterprise Industrial Park to break ground and populate the park. But today the city broke some ground of its own at the park. Officials broke ground on a speculative building, a building they hope will attract a tenant ready to get producing immediately. The Cabinet for Economic Development had advised the city that uh, we needed to construct a spec building to attract potential tenants. They, apparently tenants want a facility that's constructed with just mod moderate modifications uh, and they're much more likely to locate in your business park. The building will be built in part using abandoned mine lands funds, funding help secured by Congressman Hal Rogers. You know, the 5th District has been blessed to have a congressman that has worked with us across party lines uh, to make sure that we have the infrastructure that we need to be able to compete in the 21st century economy. you got to build it and they will come. Uh, you got to have a place where companies that are either starting out or expanding an operation somewhere else, can move into immediately. Uh, and this building is designed so that it can be adapted uh, by different needs, small, large, integrated, whatever. So this is the, the way to go. This is the new way to attract industry. The Commission's vision for the park is manufacturing, information technology, um, aerospace. So that is certainly our intent is to attract one of those industries. Pikeville City Manager Philip Elswick said he anticipates dirt being turned over on the project in early fall, beginning an 18-month construction process. In Pikeville, Chris Anderson, EKB News.